What's up everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making New York style homemade bagels and I'm going to show you how to do it as easy as possible right now. Step number one, you're going to bloom your yeast. And that means you're going to add your warm 320 milliliters of water. Next, add your one and a half tablespoons of sugar and make sure your water is above room temp warm. Make sure it's warm to the touch. And you're gonna stir that in and make sure all that sugar is dissolved first before you add your one tablespoon of yeast. Once the sugar is all dissolved, you can mix in your one tablespoon of yeast. You're gonna stir that in lightly and set aside and rest for 10 minutes. Next up, you're gonna take three and a half cups of bread flour. Now I've used all purpose, I've used the mix, but bread flour is the true holy grail with making bagels. So take your three and a half cups of bread flour and a big container and dump it in there. Next, you're gonna take one and a half teaspoons of salt and you're gonna throw that into the flour and you're gonna mix that in as well. Now, the next step is one of my favorites. You're gonna take and add that nice yeast that's been sitting for 10 minutes and you're gonna pour that mix into your flour and salt mix. Right now, a lot of people like to use their bread mixers or some sort of spoon. I like to use my hands and I think this is a lot of fun. I think it adds an extra experience to bagel making. Put your hand in, mix up the flour and your yeast and get it all together. You don't have to make sure it's perfectly mixed in. You want it nice and shaggy like this. And then you're gonna take your shaggy dough mix, dump it out on the table. Don't forget you can wash off your hands at this point to get rid of some of that extra dough to make working in the kitchen a little easier. Another tip for you is I take a little bit of the bread dough and sprinkle it on the countertop so your dough doesn't stick to the counter while you're working on rolling it up. Once your dough's out, now you're going to knead your dough for about 10 minutes. And I mean it, you're gonna to wanna to knead it for about 10 minutes. And you're gonna push and pull it into itself like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, adding a little bit of flour onto the island so it doesn't stick and it stays nice to touch. And you're just gonna roll it and knead it back and forth into itself for a good 10 minutes. Really try and make sure you get that perfect little round ball at the end, tuck all the corners in. Now grab your big container, some olive oil. Once your container is lined nicely with olive oil, take your nice dough ball and put it right in the middle. Give it a quick tap for support and uh, give it a quick spin around so the sides of the dough don't stick to the inside of your container. And you're gonna let that sit for one hour. Cover the top of the container with a damp cloth and move over to the side for one hour and let that rise. After one hour, you're gonna open this back up and it's going to have risen perfectly. Dump it out on the table. You're gonna have the perfect start to now forming your bagels. Don't forget about the little dough on the island so everything doesn't stick. Just makes your working surface a little easier. Now we're gonna cut and divide this into equal portions so we can roll our bagels. First thing I like to do is cut it right in the middle right in half. Then I'll take this half and try and cut it into four equal triangle pieces. Now triangle pieces, you'll see why in a second. And uh, it's always one bagel seemed to turn out a little bit bigger than the other, but um, you can get the hang of it the more you do it. So I kind of do a little trial run here and then I will push it and cut it. A little bit more flour on the table. And now you're gonna take the ends of the triangle and you're gonna pick them up into themselves like this, kind of create like a little ball in the middle, flip it upside down, and then you're gonna roll that right out to get your perfect little mini round bagel like so. We're not gonna put holes in them just yet. Get all the bagels rolled up into the balls as good as you can, and really try to make sure the bottom after you're done is all tight and rolled right up, because it will come apart once you start to cook these. Now you're gonna take your pointer finger and your thumb and you're gonna pinch just like this and that's how you're gonna push your hole through the center of your bagel bun here. 
So just take it and kind of work it through. Make sure you use a little flour so your fingers don't stick. And then start creating your little hole. And slowly start stretching out your bagel dough. Uh, so you, the diameter of your hole is actually quite a bit bigger than what you think it's going to have to be. Um, this looks like about a golf ball. So make it to the size that you can fit a golf ball through. They do shrink when you start to cook them. And just be gentle while you're doing this. Or wing around your finger like I'm doing here. And try and make sure all your sides are even. And do that to all of your little bagel balls. Once you've put your holes through your bagels, you can set these aside for about 10 minutes, cover them with a damp cloth, and now's your opportunity to make your egg wash and get your water to a slow roll. Um, take a big pot, you're going to get a big enough pot that all of these bagels can kind of sit in there, at least five, at least half of them all at once. Um, the egg wash is just two egg whites and a little bit of water and mix it all in and once that's all set, you can take your bagels, place them nicely into your slow rolling, boiling water, and you're going to let them sit for about one minute on each side. You don't need to go in for very long. <clears throat> the longer you leave them in here, the chewier they get. I left mine in for a minute on each side before I flipped them over. Once the timer's done, you can pull them out, get them down on a lightly greased baking sheet. And next step will be your egg wash. Look at these babies. We're making bagels, ladies and gentlemen. We're making bagels. Now you're just going to drizzle your egg wash over top. This is going to give them that kind of crispy, browny flavor slash texture slash I'm not even really sure what this egg wash is for. And it's going to hold your multi-grain everything seasoning on top from falling off. So it's got a few different reasons. Um, I definitely layered it on. I don't think it really makes a difference if it's a little or a lot. Um, this is just some store-bought everything spice. It works great. You can make your own. Uh, but to cut time and make this a little bit easier, just grab some of the stuff from the store and sprinkle it on like so. And into the oven they go. You're going to make sure your oven's at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Close that up and you're going to set your timer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, your bagels are done. Double check, sometimes 20 minutes might be a little too long or a little too less depending on the type of oven and your altitude. You can keep them in there for a little bit longer if you like them a little bit more crispy, but they will get chewier. And here you go. You can either make them into a delicious salmon lox sandwich, or you can just put a little butter on them and uh, serve them up at your next little house party. Hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Let me know what you think and good luck.